This is for page 26. First question, again, you can do this on your own if you'd rather, or you can do this along with me right here. It says, write an expression that models the calculation described in words. The sum of 13 and 12, which is then multiplied by 2. So when I think of sum, I know that that's an addition problem. So I would do 13 plus 12. Now I'll do that because we want to do that first. I'm going to put the parentheses there and then multiply by 2. Again, since they're just going for expression, we don't need to solve that one. So that was the first question. Our next question, it says divide 16 by 4. So 16, oops, I gotta get my pen. 16 divided by 4. And add the sum. So this is gonna, going to be a quotient. That's what that part means. Add the sum. So a sum, we're adding the sum is an addition problem, so it would be 3 plus 8, like that, because a sum is an addition problem. So that's, that's how you would do that one. Again, you, there's, you could have flipped the 8 and 3 around. You could have done that if you wanted to. So our next question reads, write an expression that models the calculation described in words. It says multiply uh, 12 and 6. So we multiply 12 times 6. So you get 12 and 6. And then it says, and divide the product. That just means that whatever this answer is, product is the answer to a multiplication problem by 9. By 9. So we're dividing by 9. So it would be 12 times 6. You don't need the parentheses, but it just helps to know what to do first. And then divide that answer by 9. Divide by 9. So the next one says, without calculating, um, circle the expression with the greater value. Now what I would do, and this is kind of the explanation part of it, what I would do is kind of look at it first, and I look, these are pretty big numbers up the top two. This one and this one are pretty big looking ones. These are going to be smaller, and then when you're dividing, you're even making it smaller yet. So I know these two are, are, are out for being the biggest. I know that this 120, these are exactly the same. So on one problem, I'm multiplying by 6. The other one, I'm multiplying by 3. So this is your winning answer right here, the one uh, 6 times this. That's the biggest one right there. Because it's take and we didn't need to solve it. We just know that six times something is going to be bigger than three times something, and that was kind of our explanation for that. Down at the bottom, it says Ivan was playing a video game. He had one thousand three hundred points, uh, and on the next level, he earned uh, one hundred twenty more. Then he lost twelve points. When his turn ended, his score doubled write an expression that shows the number he appoints he has at the end of his turn. So we start out with what he had, which would have been 1,300. So that's the first part. Next level, he earned more. So if you're earning more, you're adding to it, which would be 120. Okay, then he lost 12. When you're losing 12, you're subtracting. So you subtract 12 points from that, like that. When his turn ended, his score doubled. So think about what doubled means. So it means, what doubling means is you take something times two. Since we're adding and subtracting, we wanna make sure we put parentheses in front and behind what we've done so far, and then just take that times two times 2, okay? And then we'll, we'll just stop on number 7. We won't do number 8 right now. So good work with that. Make sure you get that filled in. Again, we don't need, we're not going to do number 8 right now.